Hello all, in this video we'll just uh, look what all system requirements uh, we need to have uh, and how to check the system requirement uh, uh, for installation of SQL Server on Linux, okay? So they have given, uh, in this link they have given uh, what all requirements, okay? So to check, how to check memory, right? So what you have to do is you have to run command free hyphen G, okay? So this command will give how much memory is there. In this if you see it, it is having 3 GB and 1 GB is for Apple, okay? For total 4 GB is memory we have in this server, okay? And I have prepared uh, this uh, list okay so all those commands okay so you can just uh, uh, I'll put in this in description so that you can just copy paste or run this command thing okay and the next is to check the file system okay whether it is uh, uh, FX or EXT like that okay to check the file system right uh, uh, you check this one file system okay so here it will come like uh, whichever is there you are but here right where we are using nvme so currently uh, this command you can use it for file system and the other thing is like uh, um, how much uh, disk space is nothing but dff and ph you can use okay and that is a normal command so i will not go with that okay so the other command is like how much how to check proce uh, processor speed so how much processor speed you have or uh, you want to learn you can use these commands okay there are a couple of commands which i've given okay uh, i'm just using this command or else i will use this command you can use any one of them okay so i'll run this Okay, so if you see it, uh, this uh, uh, megahertz uh, speed is there for CPU, okay? And uh, the other part was uh, to check cores, how much cores uh, is there. So you can just run command uh, uh, proc uh, kind of thing, okay? So let me just run this command and show you. Cat CPU info. Okay, this command uh, cat so proc CPU info is used to check processor uh, how many cores. Okay, here it is uh, one it is having uh, means you have two cores uh, uh, processor because it will start with zero, right? Uh, so you have to mention this is a two core processor. Okay, the other thing is like processor type. How to check processor type is like I have given in this uh, uh, command. So to just type this command to understand what type you have. Okay, so I'll just run it. Okay, so if you see right, x64, okay, six. so this, this says that x64 compatible should be there. But to check what uh, uh, RHL version or name we have uh, on Linux, right? So what command you will use it? This is the command, okay? So I'll just, uh, I have put it in the notepad here. So you can use this command, okay? So this is a command, they have multiple commands, I've given it here. So these are the multiple commands, but I will use any one of them, okay? So I'm just copying this. Okay, I'm just putting it here. So if you see right, it will give this information. So here uh, it has Red Hat Linux uh, uh, version, okay, uh, enterprise version. So uh, there's enterprise, okay, Red Hat enterprise Linux server it is, okay, and with 7.9 version, okay. So this will give the information. So if we have multiple other commands as well, you can use whichever you want, okay. This also gives the similar command, but I've just used here as strict. That's all with this.